in this video, I'll be setting up this six ring binder journal, which I will be turning into my business journal as well. This is a gift to myself for passing the written diplomat exam, which I had last October. The video was shot around end of October, but I was not able to edit it, so I ju I'm just uploading this now. So you'll see later in the video that I'm setting this up uh, with the for the month of November. It's actually my first six ring binder if ever. So I just uh, saw this really on trend having the six ring binders in the journaling community. So I bite the bullet and bought myself one also. So as you can see here, I'm just putting on the leaves of the and some dividers of the six ring binder. So uh, depending on the section of the journal or the business journal, I'm putting either a grid paper, dotted paper, or lined paper. So later, I will show you when I set it up, uh, the title pages of and or cover pages of each of the sections. I got all of this from Shopee, so I'll be putting down in the description box below the name of the shop in Shopee where I got all this uh, journaling refills and the uh, binder itself. So I'm using the uh, soft PVC type of six ring binder. This is A5 size uh, with a holographic or rainbow uh, cover. And then I just bought um, two packet refills. One uh, with the division into two packets for my sticker flakes if ever. And this one, the one with the sequins of uh, pink that's a zipper pocket. So, to put any loose papers or receipts that I will, uh, I will have during my, during the business. So, that's it. This is the cover page of the six ring binder. So, the, in the next section, I will show you here now how I set up each of the section with the design. So, for the first one will be the a list of the deliveries that I'll have for the day. So I'm using a monthly refill for this one. And then for the cover page, I'm just putting some coroni here. And I'm just labeling this with the stamp, letter stamp. And spelling out the name of the month, which is November. And then using the uh, black ink and some uni pin, I've added uh, those miss spots during the uh, stamping so this is for November 2020 and I'm just gonna put this uh, somewhere in the center but since this is a sticky note I'm just adding some sticky tape on to the back so that it will stay put like that and then just adding some sticker flakes uh, these are the hot air balloons you know I love hot air balloons for me, they signify something like your dream going up. So, I kind of, I'm always fascinated with hot air balloons. So, I'm just adding some more stickers here. I'm keeping it a little simple, not too much. So, for the, I'm just setting at, up the month. I'm putting here the month of November, number 11. And then, I'm just writing out the dates Monday to Sunday. So my plan here was to put the, the names of the persons that I need to be deliver for that day or scheduled to be delivered for that day. So I won't miss any, hopefully I won't miss any of the deliveries that I need to do in my orders. So that is, this is it for the month of November and then I'll just add uh, the succeeding months depending on my mood. So, the next section would be the transactions section. So, in this section, I'll be putting all the transactions I have for the month. So, all the things that I bought for the business, all the things that I sold for the business. And I'll just list them down daily and then we just have to summarize everything on a monthly basis. So, I'm just stamping in the letter here, you see the letter stamps uh, to spell out the transaction. And 
then I'm putting in some stickers of trees here and probably butterfly because we're hoping that money will grow on trees. Okay, so for the first page, we'll just put uh, the month here. So here for the month of November. And then I'll be just making some three columns. The, the date, and then the item or the transaction or the buyer. And the last column would be the price or the amount. So for the next section will be the reservation section. Because this was my problem in the first few months uh, of my business. I tend to forget the people who ask for a reservation of a particular design. So I decided to write them all down so that I will not forget and message them uh, once their reserv reservation of uh, the ear savers arrive. So I'm just using the unicorn sticker here. Uh, I, I had a haul of this unicorn sticker in the and which I will link at the upper right corner. Inside, we'll just put the details, the name, the IG handle, the FB name, the contact number, and the orders. And then, using this uh, sticker of uh, dots, I'm just uh, creating this. If it was fulfilled or done already, then I'll just have to check it. The next section will be the ideas section where I will put my designs, all of the... Uh, computations of the base rate the base item uh, I'm using the an owl theme here because uh, owls are considered wise so hopefully this will make me will inspire me to have more creative ideas for the business so after that I'm putting here the suppliers list uh, where I will put all the names and the contact numbers and even the bank accounts of the or bank number of the suppliers so that in the future it will not be hard to check on them and then after that I'm putting the customers list also these are the list of all my loyal customers so that I will not be asking them every time the address the contact number since they're all they're all usually the same So at the end, I think I will put, if I have completed already, I will put some tags here to alphabetize them and classify them according to that. Okay, so let's have a feel, flip through. Oh, so that's for the month of November. And then this one is for my transactions. Then next would be reservations. So have the name, the contact number, if this is already fulfilled, and the orders. And then next would be my ideas. So my designs will be here. And then next will be the customer contact list. So this would be name, contact and address, and then supplier. So, I will make it similar to that one also, this one, to put in my supplier. Okay, so here's the flip to finish setup of my business journal using the six ring binder. And that's it. Thank you for watching. Please like, give this video a thumbs up, and please subscribe to this channel. Bye-bye!